Hello everyone, good day to you all. Hopefully you are enjoying your life together with our pets. So today we'll be discussing about how to restore your inbreed guppy fish pattern or color and bring it back to its original pattern. I know some of us here experience this kind of problem when it comes to our guppy fish, especially for the beginners. Because no matter how beautiful or expensive your guppy fish, if you don't know how to fix them when inbreed, abruptly they will turn into hybrid junk. That's why you follow this video to restore your gabba fish back to its original form. But before anything else, if you are located at Dabo region, I would like you to visit Pet Safari at any guys animal branches. For they are offering a wide range of all pet foods, pet accessories, medicines and supplements, even pet grooming. And this store is the biggest pet shop in the town, where you can find anything about our pet's needs and they even supply aquascaping apparatus with a different kinds of pet fish, even imported ones. And they are also offering imported fish accessories and different kinds of fish foods that would make your fish healthy, so make sure to visit the store. Thank you so much. So now let's jump into the video. There are many fanciful varieties of guppies with proprietary strains being offered at almost every online site. Guppies are prolific and colorful fish, but beware when you search out these rare and unique strains, like overbreed goldfish, guppy inbreeding is rampant among these extra special varietals. So hobbyists, please be forewarned. Why is guppy inbreeding bad? Inbreeding, no matter what species occurs when genetically similar animals are crossbred multiple times in order to get certain external characteristics, it could be a color or fin length in fish, and since guppies replicate so quickly, that is the case for many live bear fish. It is very easy for even novice breeders to start to see unusual strains. However, in trying to get a particular external appearance, other inbreeding problems start to occur. What problems does inbreeding create? As with most forms of inbreeding, selection for particular traits comes down to DNA and genes. Dominant traits will appear most frequently with recessive genes only making an occasional appearance. These recessive genes are responsible for the unique or rare characteristics that are seen in certain gappy lineages. However, there are more congenital problems carried by recessive genes, including growth and immune function. This leads to an increased incidence in early death for these custom breeds. Problems with inbreeding is seen in certain dog breeds or fancy goldfish varieties or even in gaffer fish. We often see fancy goldfish such as ranchos and orandes with their little hench stacky bodies unable to have a normal buoyancy function due to their breeding. They may be pretty and cute but selecting for external appearance has significantly hampered their swim bladder function. However, we all know that the most of the strain develop or originated from inbreeding method. Danger on inbreeding will only occur if you didn't introduce new blood to them for a long time or should I say you've just kept them on a community tank for a long period of time without using line breeding, an outcrossing method or cross burning method making the new strain strong. Inbreeding is the method by which is a breeder attempts to purify his strain of guppy, for example make the genetics homozygous. This means that all the siblings tend to look like their parents. When employing this method, one usually breeds brothers to sisters or we call that sibling to sibling, son or daughter to mother or father, just like back crossing. The best method will depend upon your strain characteristics, genetics, and the quality of the inbreed characteristics they possess. Since sibling to sibling and back cross methods tend to purify the strain and set genetic characteristics. You have to be extremely careful that your strain possess mostly wanted characteristics and that the strictest of inbreeding won't concentrate on wanted characteristics as well. 
Do not use parents with flaws in color and shape when breeding for those particular features. Because size tends to be lost when in breeding too closely or too much as what the following videos shown as what you can see, their color and pattern are deteriorating like our blow tube as here. The males already have red stain color and producing other traits more probably on their color and pattern. In nature, breeding parents are the most hardy and fertile of the strain overall. And over time, of course. If your choosing method is leading you astray from your primary objectives, be astute enough in your observation to catch the problem early and make the necessary adjustment to your breeding program. Always stay focused on your goal. Do not use inbreeding as the sole method of strain or line maintenance. If your line is straying away from the set objectives, you may be picking the wrong parents. Backcrossing may be necessary to re-inject the desirable genetics lost on one line, but possibly remaining on the other. And of course, keep records both mental and written, but also be specially observant. So what we're going to do today is to bring back their original color, which is the blue topaz color. Of course, as what I always advise when having a gap of fish, first of all, you have to create line 1 and line 2 with a certain strain that you have for future outcross. This will you maintain the purity of your gap of fish pattern and color. So now we are using line breeding, semi outcrossing method. So here, from line 1 tank, we need to find potential male and pair it with potential female from a line 2 tank. We need to select two pairs and make sure that the female is a virgin kind of female to avoid any unwanted results. The inbreeding principle can be used to maintain set lines of a certain color strain. You should always try to maintain at least two lines of the same strain that are related and always keep in mind that the most difficult characteristics to fix or maintain in a strain is not their size. That is commonly misunderstood by many hobbyists who inbreed too closely for too long. But shape, color, and pattern is more important. And you should always follow the straight body guide as shown on a picture here. You should discard guppy that does not show good quality. This includes all aspects of those features related to both body and fine age. Note how important shape is. If you lose a difficult characteristic to set, it could retard your progress many generations. So in here, this is just only an illustration. For example, we already have two breeders here as line 1 and line 2. So below are their fry as F1 or shall we say just for this video, F1 to F3. And always do the future selective breeding by selecting the potential pair with the best color, pattern, body shape, quadal and dorsal fins and do this continuously until you've reached the good result that you want. When crossing these related lines, you can potentially obtain breeding stock from the line cross that can be used to improve one or all of your inbreed lines. This is how you maintain inbreed lines that have been inbreed for too long. Maintaining separate lines can be potentially improve many aspects of color strain. For example, patterns, symmetry, Injection of new background colors in bicolor quadals, increasing the density and intensity of half black body colors, increasing the fertility, tail, or dorsal shape, and size and fixing better body shape. In strains which cannot compete with show winners like this with bleeding quadals such as HBAOC and HB yellow and HB pastels, you can remove the bleeding colors by careful choice of parrots or gradually clean up the strain in incremental steps of progress by using line breeding and cross breeding method. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you've learned something from it, especially on restoring your inbred gaffe fish to back to its original form. Just make sure to follow our guide. 
And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to get updated on upcoming videos like this one. And if you have any questions, clarifications regarding to our video here, just send your message at the comment section below or follow us on our FB page at habitb.ph and to my Instagram account at markroyce87. I'll do my best to answer all of your questions there. Thank you very much guys. Stay safe everyone. To get with the glory. Bye.